Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. And if this is your first time, welcome. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And I'm really excited to dive into today's topic. It's becoming free to be your true self. In my mind, that means being a free person to live my life the way I choose to and choose the career that brings me the most joy and fulfillment and chase my dreams without hindrance. Now, let's take a look at what I found out in researching Becoming Free to Be Your True Self. First, what does it mean to set yourself free? Well, setting boundaries and setting oneself free means setting limits on the things you allow into your life. They are so important because they set a limit for how much time, energy, or emotional space we're willing to give someone else or ourselves. And what does freedom mean? Well, people usually associate freedom with choices. Freedom means you are free to choose. It means you are free from boundaries. And it follows that the more choices we have, the more freedom we have. So why do I find it so hard to be myself, you may wonder. Well, some people are naturally hard on themselves. They might have low self-esteem or grew up in an environment where criticism came and praise was heard rarely. Other times there are psychological issues that lead to a person being hard on themselves or a disorder that makes them have a lack of confidence. And here's a great question. What does true freedom feel like? Whoa. And the answer is true freedom is living your life on your own terms and achieving the kind of success defined by no one else but you. True freedom is when you feel truly free emotionally, mentally, and spiritually because you're living life in alignment with who you truly are. Check that out. Hey, I hope you're enjoying our topic so far. I love everything about it. Maybe because I have a long history on both sides of freedom and being my true self. Throughout my life, there have been times when my choices have put restrictions on how much freedom I felt and even how free I felt to reveal my true self to the world. I think my growing up a free spirit in a conservative family and world at that time just made my journey more difficult. It took me many years to get to a place where I was able to accept myself as I was and begin to move forward to finding the true me and become comfortable being myself, unashamed, and to chasing my dreams and passions without fear and self-doubt knocking me down again and again. Okay, now let's start looking at ways you can begin to get closer to becoming free to be your true self. First, if you're just getting started, here's several ways to start working on yourself. Learn something new. A new hobby can be an excellent way to open up your mind, pull you out of your comfort zone, and help you grow. Examine your habits. Take time to rest. Surround yourself with positivity. Start a gratitude journal. Spend less time on social media. Ooh, those are all very good ideas to get you on your way. And I hope you'll give those a try. Next, here's some tips to increase your energy and help you live a healthier, happier, and more productive life. Eat nourishing food. Sleep seven to eight hours every night. Keep company with good people. Avoid news overdose. Get regular exercise. Do something meaningful every day. And a few more ideas for you before we close today. Create something fun for you. Learn to trust the process. Don't be obsessed with the outcome. Stop thinking about what other people think about you. 
<laughs> Learn to say no to people. Shift your perspective from negative to positive in each situation. Value experiences more than possessions. All right. Well, today's episode gives you a good number of ideas for making your plan for becoming free to be your real self. Now, it's up to you. I strongly urge that you start out with just a few ideas to work on so you don't get overwhelmed and give up. Remember, you're worth the effort and nothing rewarding comes overnight. So go slow and easy and you'll be successful, I'm telling you. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.